vida La parranda La parranda de Trinidad Hey guys, we are Los, Los alumnos de San Juan And welcome to Parancona Parang Corner is a series of videos that will take you on a journey through all things Parang through the eyes of us, Paranderos, Los Alumnos de San Juan. We are going to teach you about Parang music itself, enlighten you with the history of Parang, introduce you to some local Parang bands, and carry you inside some fun Parang limes. You may even get a recipe or two. Don't forget the wara. Don't forget the wara. <laughs> Part of our mandate is to preserve, maintain, and keep the tradition of Parang music alive for the younger generation. We Los Alumnos de San Juan thought it wise to do something a little more modern and interactive using our technological platform to get to you, our public. This series is for the young ones who will want to learn about Parang, the young adults who love and want to enhance their Parang, the mature adults and even the older generation who love the music and the traditions of Christmas. We are going to carry you to various interesting locations all over Trinidad. This is going to be aired every week, starting from this week all the way to Lewa. So, don't you miss it. Now that the formalities are over, we are going to introduce you to none other than 11-time Parang Queen, composer, a musician, and the first lady in Parang, Miss Alicia Jagasa. Hola mis amigos, I am Alicia Jagasa and I have the privilege of carrying you on that journey through a traditional house Parang. With me, you are going to learn about the different styles that make up a traditional house Parang. You're also going to learn about the strumming associated with the Parang music. You're also I'm going to give you a little bit of composing too of the traditional styles. We're going to learn about the costuming associated with Parang. We're going to learn about the dances associated with Parang. And you're also going to have to take out your books and your pencils because you're going to have to learn some Spanish also. And mind you, I want this to be very interactive. So feel free to comment and to give us information as much as you can so that we can share with you. Now, you need to stay tuned and remember you're going to get homework and with that being said I'll give you your first bit of homework. Your first bit of homework for my next session with you would be the vowels in Spanish because we are going to be learning Spanish. So you know the vowels in Spanish are A, A, E, O, U. In English we say A, E, I, O, U but you have to say A, A, E, O, U. Oh, oh. So when I start teaching you all the songs in the different styles, you all will know it. Now, what we want you all to do is to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We like you all to like our Facebook page, Instagram, and Twitter. This is all about Parang Corner with the Los Alumnos de San Juan Parang Group. And now it's time for History Minute, un poco de la historia de los alumnos de San Juan. The band was founded by Denzel Lyons at the San Juan North Secondary School in 1986, who at the time was a guitarist in the band Los Alumnos, led by George and Henrietta Carter. Being a teacher at the school, he formed a band comprised of students and organically the name stuck, Los Alumnos de San Juan, the students of San Juan. This led to performances for the school community, friends, family, the sick, aged and the orphaned within the San Juan area. Two years later, in 1988, Alicia Jagasa, the current president of the National Parang Association, joined the group. The following year, in 1989, some of the band members were inspired to dedicate their parang to serving the nation rather than just the community. With this newfound mission, the band embraced the past and respecting the tradition, they diligently researched the music, the language and the associated codes of conduct of Parang. Aside from having Tito Lara of the Lara Brothers as their mentor, they visited the Guerrero family in Lopino, went house paranging with Martin Constantine and Sunny Christian in Valencia, studied composing with Henry Pereira in Tabaquit, and the first people's contribution to the music and dance with Cristo Adonis, the spiritual guide of the first peoples in the Santa Rosa community. 
They further augmented that foundation with the help of many other paranderos and academics from around the country, including Jose Hernandez and other members of the Andres Bale Institute, living up to their name of being students, always learning of the art form. Introducing to you Right Body Products, all natural products made locally. Natural deodorants, natural soaps, natural creams, lip balms. Want to know the secret behind beautiful skin? Visit Right Body Products. Thank you.